in a way hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel today I wanted to come and show you guys a simple foundation and highlight and contour routine I've done a video like this before but in that video I used some different products and in this one I used some more affordable products than in that one so I just wanted to come and show you guys you know a detailed version of it and it's very simple and it's very easy so I hope it's quick to follow and I'm going to stop talking. I don't want this intro to be super long, but I want you guys to make sure that you're following me on all of my social media. Everything is the same. Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter is the same. All of it is Christy J. Just like my YouTube name, that's everything. So it should be easy for you guys to find me. So I'm going to stop talking and if you're interested in seeing my simple foundation and highlight contour routine, make sure you keep watching. Okay guys, so I've already done my eyes and now I'm going to get into everything that I do for my foundation and highlight and contour routine. So the first thing I do is prime my face with Milk of Magnesia because I have very oily skin. The foundation that I use, that I'm using today rather, is the MAC um, Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in NC50. And I use this L powder brush yeah powder brush and I apply it and once I apply it will cover up all the little white marks that the milk of magnesia left and so when I get closer to my um, eyebrows I use like a little foundation brush like this just to go in between my eyebrows and above them because I don't want to mess them up Just to get a little more precise there. And then I just go in, I blend everything together with my beauty blender. Okay, so now after my foundation is finished and blended and all good, I go on to highlighting and contouring. So I have been using my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Cream Contour Kit to highlight and contour with and I've gotten some com comments on my videos saying oh it's too light, it's too light for you but personally I like it like this. I like a really really bright highlight and you guys are right sometimes it does come off very ashy but some days it's not especially in person. Like On camera it does come off very ashy but in person it looks really good and it really just depends on the day. Some days, like, it looks okay, and some days, yeah, it does look ashy. But, you know, I, you know, I guess it's just preference. Like, you know, I like a really, really bright highlight. But today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I highlight and contour with the LA Girl Pro Concealers. So, yeah. So, I use the color Fawn, and I use the color Warm Honey to highlight with. Um... Like I said, I really like a bright highlight, so I mix this lighter shade with this um, more, this one's like more of my skin tone, like the one that's for my skin tone, and I mix it with Warm Honey to make it a lot brighter. So these are the areas that I highlight in. I don't do chin or anything like that. And um, yeah, after this, I let it warm up just for like a couple of seconds. And then I blend it out with my beauty blender. And I always take the um, highlight and I take it like further up my nose to help me when I contour. Then I go on to contour and I contour with my ABH um, cream contour kit still. Um, I don't really care for the LA Girl Pro contour. It just looks really, really muddy and dark on me because I can't use the medium one. It's like too light for me to contour with and the darkest one is too dark for me to contour with. So 
so I just still stick with this for my contour and I use the color espresso which is mm, this one right here and I really think that this is just like the perfect contour for me like it really really looks good to me Then after that, I go in and I blend everything together and make sure there's no harsh lines anywhere before I set everything. And as you can see, I do not contour my nose with the cream contour because I'm just, I can't. It doesn't come out looking good to me and it gets muddy, so I just do the powder for my nose contour and now I'm going on to set everything and I set my highlight with the um, Sasha buttercup powder and when I set my highlight I also put a little powder on my chin and on the these areas just to make sure everything is popping my contour and all that is popping And just like I took the concealer far up my nose, like up the bridge, I take the powder and do the same thing with it. And while this is baking, which I don't do for long, about one minute, I use my e.l.f. contouring blush and bronzing powder to set my contour and I use um, the shade Turks and Caicos and the, I just use the bronzing one. And what I use to um, put that on is this Real Techniques brush and this is just a contour brush. And I think I used another brush earlier that I didn't tell you guys what it was. And I always get questions, I'm glad I'm thinking about it, I always get questions about my gold brushes. Guys, I got them like years ago, like three years ago from Walmart. And I looked it up online, they don't sell them anymore. So I'm so sorry about that guys, I wish they still did, but. Okay, so now moving on to nose contour. Okay, here's how I do that. I take the powder and I have this little brush here. I got it from Amazon. I don't even know the name. Yeah, and it's like a little skinny brush like this. And I just go like literally like on top of my nose where the highlight stops. And I found that this has been working for me the best. I'm really not good at contouring my nose at all. Now I'm going in and I'm going to just brush away all the powder where I set my highlight. One time I left the house and I had not wiped away this. I had I was rushing and I had forgot. And a girl at my school, she was like, it was when I was in high school. She was like, you forgot to um, wipe away your your powder. And I'm like, oh my god, you're right. And I often get questions about the Sasha Buttercup powder um, leaving flashback, and it doesn't. Not for me. I have not experienced that. So I definitely think that is something you should invest in. And it's not really an investment. I only got this I got this for like twenty dollars, I think. I've had the I've had this for almost going on a year now and I've had my Ben Na, my Ben Na powder for about two years now. They last a really long time because it's a lot of powder that they put in them. I think it's a pretty good amount.
Now I'm just going to go back in with my contour because my contour powder is not popping enough. So I'm just going to make sure it's really popping. Okay. So now I move on to blush and highlight. And usually at this point I would go back to my eyes. And I think that's what I'm about to do. Finish my eyes and then I'll come back and I'll finish my foundation routine for you guys. Okay, so I finished my eyes and I don't like to do my, like the bottom part of my eyes before I highlight and all that because it messes it up. Like when you put like the powder down there and all that, it messes up like the smoky effect. Now I'm going in with my blush and I'm using Toasted Almond from um, Black Radiance as usual. My only, blush, the only blush that I use. And I just put a little bit on, not too much, because I'm not a blush person, really. Now it's time for highlighter, which is my last step before lipstick. And this is my favorite part because it just brings everything together to me. Today I'm going to be using the color Golden Dawn. And then I'm going to mix it with Sunray for my highlight today and I'm just using like this little stippling brush it might not be the best brush to use but I like that it really puts it on there you know so yeah oh yeah and the brush is by elf Yes, honey. And I do not hold back. I put on like a ton of highlighter. And I'm taking like this little circle brush and that's how I'm going to highlight my nose. And I'm going to be using the same two colors. And I'm taking this Wet n Wild brush. It's like a little, I don't know what type of brush it is. I think it's like an eyeshadow brush. And I highlight um, my brow bone. And I'm using the same two colors. And right here, keep it slow. And that's it. So let me put on my lipstick and I'll come right back to you guys. So this is the final look after everything's completed. Um, for my lips, I use NYX Lingerie Lipstick in the color Teddy and I line my lips with MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. So this is it. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was helpful for you guys. If you did, please be sure to leave me a comment, like this video, and subscribe to my channel if you are not already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.